Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 27th, 2020, from 2 Kings chapter 23, the Passover. After Josiah cleaned house, so to speak, by getting rid of the from the land all the fake gods, Josiah himself returned to Jerusalem, the city of God, for a purpose. Verse 21, And the king commanded all the people, Keep the Passover to the Lord your God, as it is written in this book of the covenant. For no such Passover has been kept since the days of the judges who judged Israel, or during the days of the kings of Israel, or of the kings of Judah. Wow, if you do some quick calculation, that would be a period of approximately 783 years. They didn't celebrate the Passover. The Passover instructed by God, from God to Moses to celebrate every year as Christians. We are also commanded by God, invited by God, to celebrate the Lord's Supper. But many people ask, well, how often? Well, here at Peace, we celebrate the Lord's Supper at every service. Why? Because it's important. In this supper, we receive forgiveness of sins. We receive strengthening of our faith. Martin Luther also reminds us in the preface to the small catechism, which says the following about the frequency of celebrating the Lord's Supper. When someone does not seek or desire the sacrament at least four times a year, it is to be feared that he despises the sacrament and is not a Christian, just as a person is not a Christian who does not believe or hear the gospel. Now we know why God is angry with his people. They did not keep their promise. They were to celebrate the Passover. Even during the time of King David, they forgot about the Passover. Even during the time of the great judges, they forgot about the Passover. It wasn't until Josiah, finding the book of the law hidden in the temple, and he read about the Passover and said, we will celebrate the Passover. So the people of Israel, the north, go into exile because they had forgotten the Lord and soon the south will go. But King Josiah would try to return the people back to God and did so by celebrating the Passover. Verse 23, But in the 18th year of King Josiah, this Passover was kept to the Lord in Jerusalem. Verse 25, Before him there was no king like him, who turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might, according to all the law of Moses, nor did any like him arise after him. Verse 26, Still the Lord did not turn from the burning of his great wrath, by which his anger was kindled against Judah, because of all the provocations which Manasseh had provoked him. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and I will cast off this city that I have chosen, Jerusalem, and the house of which I said, My name shall be there. Why was God still going to send Judah into exile? First of all, we have to remember God's promised his judgment upon the people of Israel because of their sins. They made God extremely angry. Now, we have a very patient God, but when his anger is roused, what can appease it? Only the death of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, can appease the anger of God. So we should always be very careful, trying to avoid sin, trying to avoid raising God's anger, because when God's anger would be raised against us, who's going to intervene? Thanks be to God, we have that Savior who intervenes. But just because we have a Savior who stands between us and the wrath of God doesn't mean we could go ahead and sin all we want. 
but instead we continue to follow the Word of God, listen to that voice, and apply it daily in our lives. Throughout the lives of believers, we realize that we live day by day with unbelievers. And we know that one day, on the last day, we will be separated from the unbelievers and ushered into eternal life. Until that time, God gives us strength through his word to face the days ahead. Because with the unbelievers, we're also feeling the effects of sin in this world around us. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about Josiah's son, Jedahosa. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.